Hi and welcome to Lina's Kitchen. Today we're going to bake a chocolate cake so good it deserves the name the perfect chocolate cake. To make the cake we will need eggs, vanilla, plain cocoa powder, instant coffee, baking powder, baking soda, salt, sugar, all-purpose flour, vegetable oil, tahini, apple vinegar and water. Begin by heating your oven at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. First, beat the eggs. We use 4 eggs. You can use a mixer, but I prefer to do everything manually, all along the old-fashioned way. Add 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Add two and a half cups sugar and mix. Mix for about one minute. Let rest for the sugar and the eggs to be integrated. Measure one cup cocoa powder. Add one teaspoon instant coffee and two cups water. And mix. Set aside for the cocoa to be fully dissolved in the water. Come back to the eggs and sugar mix. They have beautifully blended. Add one cup vegetable oil. From experience, sunflower oil is best. Mix thoroughly. Time to add the cocoa mix. Stir one more time and combine it with the eggs, sugar and oil. Mix these liquid ingredients for about one minute. Now mix the dry ingredients. Measure two and three quarters of a cup all-purpose flour. Add two teaspoons baking powder, one quarter teaspoon baking soda, one quarter teaspoon salt and mix. Prepare your cake mold for baking. Grease and coat your mold. For best result, use tahini instead of butter. For my mold, two tablespoons are enough. Add some flour and distribute all over your mold. Shake off any excess flour. Gradually fold the dry ingredients into the liquid mixture using a large sieve to avoid clotting. Both your hands should work in concert. Mix thoroughly for a consistent batter. As a last touch, add one tablespoon apple vinegar. The batter is ready. It's baking time. Pour the batter in the cake mold and bake on the middle rack. The cake is rising beautifully. Such a lovely thing to see. After about one hour, I'll check the cake to see if it's done. The cake is done. Remove the cake from the oven. Put some fresh water in a large mixing bowl. Immerse the bottom half of the mold in the fresh water. This will make the cake consolidate enough for us to remove it from the mold. With a non-sharp knife, liberate the sides of the cake. Don't forget the inner part. Shake the cake upwards to liberate it completely from the mold. And flip it. The cake is done. To prevent moisture, put another plate and flip it back again. On the dry side, the moisture will not form. Once the cake is cold, flip it one last time on the serving dish. For the glazing, die-hard chocolate lovers may use Nutella. My kids like it with peanut butter. My husband with vanilla ice cream. I like it best, as is, with a cup of coffee or tea. However you eat it, it will always taste like the perfect chocolate cake. Bon appétit!